my name is Patricia Holmes and we are beginning chapter 11. So chapter 11 is about creating a video and our chapter assignment uh, is to use some of the files the author has provided for a beach day and uh, but first the author is asking us to look at the final product so let's hit play and this is the final product. Okay, so our goal is to use all the elements the author has provided us and recreate that. We want to hear just the banjo music playing. We do not want to hear any of the other background noises that, that uh, I'll show you eventually. Um, we want to make sure we mute, uh, mute those out. Okay, so before we begin recreating this, um, I want to point out a couple of things. Um, in this final product that is important to know. First of all, this is the timeline we're going to be working with. And this is the play button. And you can hit it again to stop it. And this is this blue um, head here is called the play head. You can scroll it back and forth to position it within the timeline. Uh, the green I, the green um, color is indicative of music, the purple is indicative of a photo, and the blue image is indicative of a video clip. So we can take images, we can take our video clips, and we can put music in the background. So think about, think about as we build this chapter, if you're making a video, let's say for someone you love, or let's say for Mother's Day, or let's say Happy Holidays, or whatever video, you can take your own photos and your own video clips from your phone and your own song and put it all together. So think about that as we build this, um, this chapter. Now before we begin, I do want to tell you this is a bit of a long chapter, so um, we're going to be cutting uh, the video tutorials into probably three or four video tutorials because I try to keep them short. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new, brand new file and we are going to replicate this. So you're going to go File New and we are going to have a new dialog box and what I want you to do is I want you to make sure you click this far right section that says film and video first then when you do you get some film video options the author is asking us to choose the HDV HDTV 720p so click that and when you click that all the settings over here changed we're going to name this chapter 11 working and we're going to click, we're going to leave all these defaults as is and we're going to hit create and we're going to have a brand new stage here. Next what we're going to do is we're going to save it. We're going to go file save as. I'm going to go ahead and close out that original so I can, this is the original one the author provided. I'm going to hit don't save and now we have the new working one. Next what we want to do is uh, we want to populate this so but before we do that we need to see the screen so click the zoom icon come over here with the zoom select it and make sure you click fit screen and then that way this whole stage will get a little bit bigger and it will fit the screen and then we are going to go ahead and Make sure that the timeline is here. This is all going to load automatically. Um, so if you're not seeing this, you you picked something wrong at the very beginning. So uh, go back and take a look at the video when we first started this. Anyway, click this button right here, Create Video Timeline. And what we're going to have here is we are going to have a new timeline that's been developed for us. Turn the page. You're following me in the book. So in the book, the author asks us to uh, click this little video icon button right here on layer zero. 
and we are going to be adding uh, we're going to be adding the chapter 11 um, items but before we do I want to make sure that I don't have anything here I'm going to hit this bottom scrub and this is going to show me an empty layer okay good so we'll come back we can make the uh, the contents in the layer very visible okay so I'm going to click this video button again I'm going to click add media and the author is asking us to add one through six so I'm going to hit my command button down and I'm going to click one I'm going to skip these 11 I'm going to click two three four five six and I'm going to hit enter and it's going to load it up in the timeline <clears throat> Okay, so now that we have it in the timeline, let's see. We are going to open up this timeline, and I'm sorry, we're going to come over here to the layers. Look over here, I'm going to move this over to the layers. The author is asking us in the layers, which this populated as well, delete the layer zero. So in the layer panel, hit delete zero okay good now what we're going to do is we are going to going to select let me move this screen back so we can see it we're going to come over here under group one and we are going to edit the timing of these clips so for example let's take a look at this first clip right here and we're also going to drag and drag and drop these. Okay, so let's remind ourselves the purple image, the purple videos, I'm sorry, gosh, excuse me, the purple are photos, the blue are video clips. So we have a couple of video clips and we have a couple of photos. Okay, before we edit these and, and uh, change the dynamics, I'm going to go ahead and um, ask you to follow me on the next video tutorial. I'm going to keep these videos, uh, I'm going to try to keep them short and sweet. So that's the end of this first video. Uh, thanks for listening, and we'll pick up the rest of this on part two.